Well, this has indeed been a topic for the European Commission for some time and President Juncker, uh, uh, predecessor, made different comments that, for instance, Italy has been using the full flexibility of the fiscal rules, but there's also at the same time a lot of criticism saying that these rules are uh, need to be updated. And so in that regard, when we talk about the next European Commission, the focus is more on how the fiscal rules could be reformed in the coming years rather than perhaps the tough rhetoric that sometimes we saw between the Commission and certain member states. But let's take a listen to what von der Leyen said earlier this morning in Strasbourg, specifically, specifically about the fiscal rules. We need to rely on what makes us strong, our single market, our single currency. It is high time to complete our economic and monetary union to deliver growth and jobs by increasing macroeconomic resilience. We must use the flexibility allowed under the Stability and Growth Pact to give the time and the space for our economies to grow. And at the same time, we must support member states with targeted investments and structural reforms. So fiscal rules is going to be one of the main topics for the next commission, but also Brexit. This is going to be a big theme in the coming months. And when it comes to Brexit, Ursula von der Leyen has said that she is open to further extensions. And she said earlier on in the European Parliament in Strasbourg that she will always be a Remainer. Let's take a listen. We will respect the decision taken by the British people. We will work closely together to find solutions on common, to common challenges, especially on security matters. But one ha thing has to be absolutely clear. Whatever the future holds, the bond and the friendship between our people are unbreakable. So von der Leyen there making some remarks about a Brexit. Her new team is going to be voted and is expected that it's going to be approved in a few hours' time in Strasbourg. And so the new team in Brussels is set to start working next week. Sylvia, I want to ask about the new team actually because it's been a bit of a bumpy ride getting to this Absolutely. point, and not least for France and uh, the initial candidate put forward uh, by President Macron for the European Commission role there representing France. Uh, new candidate now. Uh, would you say that the most, most of those obstacles have been overcome now or is this just the beginning of what's going to be a very challenging Commission presidency for uh, Ursula von der Leyen? I would say that it's likely to be very challenging because even though now we have a team we don't have a full team in the sense that we don't have a UK Commissioner for example and in that regard the European Commission even opened the legal process against the UK so in that regard it could be challenging we could see a lot of uh, uh, negotiations in the coming months and then of course there's a lot of uh, very difficult subjects to fix you have US relations with trade relations you have the rollout of 5g relations with China as well and how big is this ambitious on climate policy Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.